Okay, um, it's hotter than hell here in Kansas. It's 100 degrees, um, and I need something to keep myself cool in the garage. So what I did was I took one of my Volvo fans. They got for eleven dollars, fifty percent off that you pick apart. They're regularly twenty-two. Got it for eleven bucks. It's out of an XC90. So you got a purple wire that controls the pulse width modulator coming in. Two big power wires that go straight over to the battery. Um, and to control it, I'm using an Arduino. And whoops, it already started. That will shut off here in just a second. Yep. So I'm using an Arduino. Uh, I uh, programmed it for 122.5 hertz, and I use a rotary pulse uh, encoder to vary the speed. And so right now I've got it set up for a speed of 17%, which is the lowest, pretty pretty close to the lowest. I could probably set it a little bit lower. Uh, anyway, so I got the Arduino running onto a 2.4 inch uh, TFT LCD, um, and it flashes once every second because that's how often it updates the speed. Uh, over here I've got a MOSFET, don't really need it, it's just kind of a power block that I use, but it has a blue LED on it to tell me when the, the output for the fan is coming coming on. And then I have a uh, HC SR501, which has, uh, it's a PIR uh, uh, sensor, motion sensor, and the one on this side uh, is the sensitivity, and the other one is the time for how long it comes on basically. The only time I want my fan to come on is when I'm out here working in the garage and walking around. Other than that, I don't turn it on. So this is powered up all the time. The residual draw is, I don't know, not even a, a quarter of an amp. So whenever the motion sensor detects motion in my garage, the uh, speed that I've got preset uh, will turn the Volvo fan on. I'll be able to cool myself down. So uh, this rotary encoder uh, let's me change the actual speed of it so I can go to 26, 34, 50%. Uh, and that is the negative pulse width. So the wider the negative pulse width, the faster the fan is going to go. So uh, the fan will, as soon as it senses motion, passive infrared uh, sensor will send a high over to one of the analog pulses, which will produce 122 hertz coming out, which runs over to purple wire which goes into the PWM fan. Um, 122 hertz, close enough. I don't have to do any weird calculations or do anything strange. The code's pretty, pretty simple. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put my hand in front of this PIR sensor and you'll see the fan kick on. So now I'm in front of it. The blue LED is on. I've got it set for a very short period of time. So that's why you hear it speeding up, slowing down. So let me... Driver. Stay a little bit longer. setting so it comes to a complete stop because there's no motion in front of the pass in front of the, the IR sensor so 10% is about the lowest you can go which is pretty equivalent to uh, one microsecond so um, like I said set this to the this pot over here on this side is for the time and as soon as it picks up a pulse it turns the light on I've got it set to the shortest period of time so if I'm not in front of the sensor it goes off 
But if I'm up here working and doing stuff like this, just kind of working around it, it will stay on. And it's down at 10%. And that's the lowest speed right there. So generally I run it for about a minute at a time. If I walk around the garage and I'm working for a minute, set that to about a third, and it'll stay running. So I'll uh, probably 3D print a case for it, something with a LCD on the front end of it. And uh, and I got a nice cooling fan in the garage. And I just leave a battery tender on this uh, junkyard battery that I picked up. So that's my garage cooling fan. <laughs>